the Toyota GR Yaris is the hot hatch of the moment. But there are two models, and I reckon this is the real one. Here's why. It has been almost a year and a half since we first sampled Toyota GR Yaris prototypes in their final stages of development in Europe. Although it was only a preview drive, it was immediately apparent there was a stark contrast between the two GR Yaris models. On a track, the regular version on Dunlop tyres was an inferior proposition compared to the performance pack with Michelin rubber, lighter wheels and front and rear limited slip differentials. We felt so strongly about it at the time, we lobbied Toyota Australia executives to bring both examples here, or none at all. Fortunately, Toyota moved heaven and earth to fast track the introduction of the performance pack that is known as the Rally Edition in Australia. It wasn't supposed to be introduced here until sometime after the regular model. That's why the first 1200 cars in Australia were the basic GR Yaris, and 200 Rally Editions have only just started to arrive six months after going on sale in the UK and New Zealand. And so, here we are with the car the Toyota GR Yaris was meant to be all along. Both examples are powered by the same turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which happens to be the most powerful three-cylinder in the world, have identical power outputs, the same lightweight rally-inspired bodywork and carbon fibre roof. However, the Rally Edition gains even lighter 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped in Michelin tyres, functional air ducts in the front bumper to cool the brakes, rather than closed off panels in the regular model, and red brake calipers, although the discs themselves are the same size. And hidden from view, mechanical limited slip differentials front and rear, and retuned suspension. There's a hefty price difference too. The regular GR Yaris was launched with an introductory offer of 39,990 drive away and sold out in seven days. The price then rose to 49,500 drive away and the remaining stock sold out in a month. The GR Yaris Rally launched at 56200 drive away, but the initial stock has sold out. Order either model today, and you won't take delivery until 2022, and you'll be paying full retail. 49500 plus on road costs for the regular version, and $54,500 plus on road costs for the Rally. Add about $4,500 in delivery charges, and that pegs the prices at about $53,000 and $59,000 drive away respectively, which is a lot of money for a Yaris. So, is the rally worth the price premium? And can you really feel the difference? Around town in the daily grind, you're really not gonna pick up the difference between the rally and the regular version. But once you hit the open road, the rally comes alive. Listen to that little rocket ship of an engine. I love it! I can really see why this car is so intoxicating. <laughs> love that three-cylinder engine. It just roars. But of course, as with all cars, it's not perfect. Dislikes? The seating position's a touch high, the cabin's a bit cramped, and the tyre noise is actually quite horrendous, even by performance car standards. Then again, that's the price you have to pay for grip. I really love this car. I'm not sure I'd wait a year to get one, but it is an engineering marvel and Toyota should be proud for building it. I can genuinely see the appeal of the GR Yaris Rally, but at close to $60,000, it's a hard sell.